Hello, it's me again. So I'm working on my website to add a light theme to it. It's currently only dark, but I'd like to add a uh, light theme while sipping in some tea. So yeah, let me first show how the things are set up right now. There is a theme file to where I have all the colors. I have the light colors defined, but they are not used anywhere. I'm just exporting the dark colors, and these things are used. Uh, uh, somewhat like this. So I import colors from here, and I'm using those colors in the background and the col and the, the font color and stuff. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to add a, a light theme as well. Uh, using css variables okay so this stuff translates to okay this stuff translates like this okay but what i'd like to do is to uh, is for it to behave like this background so that uh, I can define these back uh, this uh, CSS variables uh, in some place based on the theme that I want to apply okay so here uh, let me define the theme first export const or the CSS variables first so export const themes to CSS which is a style components thing where okay so here uh, I need all these colors so we'll have two themes uh, one will be theme dark which is this thing and okay. this is how you do uh, CSS variables here uh, this is scoping you can actually have a few things in the root itself and uh, you and you can uh, scope it to a certain class like theme dark so these colors like uh, just the colors are independent of the theme right so they can be global uh, variables uh, global css variables and these things like the theme ones are themed uh, css variables right then let me get the uh, light colors as well theme light okay so now I can delete the unnecessary or the global styles and done but I think a better uh, name for this would be theme variables right and I can import them here in the styles same theme variables auto import from theme cool so what i can do now is i can use these variables directly like this here so this kind of works but it breaks that is because we don't have a, a class name defined anywhere so if i add a class name to this body tag it should kind of work dark right I get the background color from the background uh, the CSS variable so to in order to do this we could go to Gatsby browser and on route update is the method that calls every time a page is loaded so what I can do here is document dot 
query selector of the body i get the body tag body element and to its class list i add theme dash dark You can see it's working. So if I do a theme light, I get a light theme. You know, so this is just for the debugging. I think we can change that uh, method later. So instead of doing uh, adding CSS variables to wherever I have defined colors, I can directly go change the uh, colors object here. So instead of doing this, I can tell it to remain like this and come here and in this colors I can do this as colors okay let it like spoke them here okay so here I can change this to var background this works so I can change everything like this okay now this would be this would be var text there is a feature in CSS variables where if it doesn't find this variable it will use a fallback value so this i think is the syntax for it so we can do this for every uh, everything here so i'm gonna use some vs code tricks so i'll select this copy come here it should be where dash dash value form and Close bracket. What happened? Okay. Close bracket. So things should work if if I have light theme light. Awesome. everything kind of works uh, let me check what is this k ah okay i broke the svg okay so the svg is in icons and this is my svg so there might be a fill here okay hmm so what i can do is i can import Okay. Um, this is white, right? This should be colors dot text. So where do I get colors from? Import colors from hmm. utils. And theme or at least wait what First path of SVG, what is the stroke that you had? Right. Oh, okay. There is another here. Yeah. Come on, JSX, okay. 
one thing works so I can replace every value with colors dot text okay, nothing should work and the animation should also work sweet and next thing in the project I have a, a github card here uh, this won't work because I have hard coded the styles then so this is the styling for the cards here okay so the border is ddt but I think I can use uh, colors dot colors dot gray 500 is that too dark okay seems quite nice border bottom is this border so both should be of the same color and the avatar has a border so this can be color colors dot text okay hmm. and the stats has a color I think okay this should be changed so what is this called It has card caption A. Okay, this color. This can be um, colors dot gray seven hundred. Mm -hmm. That is too light. Look at the colors that we have: gray seven hundred and gray five hundred. I hope I didn't uh, destroy the dark theme here. Colors in the dark theme here. Oh, you see? That's okay, I guess. Not really bad. So I'm going to leave this like that for now. Okay, so this works. Um, the links will work things seem to work now in the next part uh, actually so instead of doing this uh, directly adding the dark theme here uh, I like to use this so this is a dark mode query which I uh, which I figure out if the user is on uh, user prefers dark mode or not I use this for updating the fabric on here okay. so if I go to the light theme so this thing automatically changes here I think because here I am on an incognito tab uh, the color of this is not changing but that is how it should work so what we can do is use the same technique use the same technique to do this if it matches then it is a theme dark or it should be theme light ok so now I'm going back this this thing works so if I go to the dark mode and I go to a page it is dark mode and if I yeah if I'm on a light mode go back so this automatically works cool I hope you like the video on how I am actually adding theme adding a light theme to my website 
if you enjoyed this content to subscribe for more videos like this thank you and have a good day bye